Good morning and welcome in for another video of myself, Darren, the HGV Class 1 driver and a video pretty much a day in the life of a HGV driver and I upload it Monday to Friday for you guys at 7pm over on YouTube. Vehicle checks are all done. Some of the things we're looking at when we're doing our vehicle checks, if you are new to driving or you've never done it before, you're just interested in HGV driving, we're looking at the vehicle treads, make sure it is above legal limit, which believe it or not is one millimetre over three quarters of the tyre. So it's actually lower than the car tires so all our leads are all in the correct positions everything is all okay there's no grease or anything anywhere one thing you don't want to be doing is leaving these on here because that is where you get covered in grease and you want all over your hands and it just gets everywhere absolute nightmare when that happens always put them away correctly when you've been using your truck there's no damage on the front of the vehicle everything is all looking in tip top condition and here we've got my life for darren plate get that night heater on Should be all right in a minute or two. For our today's adventure, we've got two drops in Northampton. The first one is booked in for quarter to nine. It's 131 miles away and it's quarter past four at the moment. And I'm due to get there for seven o'clock. So with traffic as well on top, we're probably looking at about three hours anyway. You might as well round it up, aren't we? And then after that is, um, I don't think it's too far away. I think it's pretty much just around the corner. Because uh, the first one's NN49, and then the second one is NN47. So I think that's just pretty much around the corner on a similar estate. I don't think it is the same estate, but not too far away anyhow. Time is now 25 past 5 in the morning, and finally I can leave the yard. I just had to wait around for one of the night trunks to come back from uh, one of the hubs. They were missing two pallets. I had to wait around for that one before I could leave. Unfortunately now though, it's not giving me a lot of leeway time because we're booked in for quarter to nine. on the M6 <laughs> well still on the M6 shall I say uh, I've just gone past the services you come up just go past uh, Birmingham and I'm just trying to get out of this lane at the moment it's just absolutely nightmare down here it's been like this for a couple of miles so I just popped into the services lane just grab a quick coffee try and perk myself up it's uh, half past eight at the moment Still got another 35 minutes to get there. That's if there's no traffic in it, it'll take me 35 minutes. However, with this lot, it could be an easy hour. So I left the yard at half past five this morning, so it took me three hours already to get to here. Whew, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Three hours just past Birmingham. Not even on the M1 yet quite far away from the M1 still as well, probably about 20 miles, give or take. Uh, so there's been an accident, uh, it's trying to divert everybody, because that sign on the left hand side. Um, the first lane, and uh, moving everybody over. So I presume the accident is on the slip road for the A444. And the sun is so bright today. That's caused a lot of traffic issues as well because it's really low, but there's no clouds in the sky and it's just real, really bright. So a lot of people are getting blinded by it, like myself before. I had to put the sun visor completely down. It's still cold though. So at eight degrees at the moment. In my cab, I've got it on about 20 degrees. Try and keep myself nice and toasty warm. It's bloody freezing outside. Just hoping the rest of the day goes a little bit more smoother. We've got two drops around here and then making my way back up north. And I presume I'll be doing a collection from Nutsford area. I'll let you in.
Yeah, I think it'll be a collection from the Nutsford. He's making hard work of getting into that lane. Hopefully it's not a bad accident for them, to be honest. Nobody's hurt. Uh, handbrake comes on a thing and I might, might be sticking on POA if it doesn't move in a minute. Staying still for quite some time. I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but in the waiting room they have a book section and it's got a load of rings. That's how long I could be waiting here for. <laughs> Managed to get here for quarter past nine. Um, do you know what that sun is bloody beaming, is it? Look at that. You wouldn't think it was November looking at these skies. Not a cloud in sight. Still cold temperature, but real nice and sunny though. Um, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I arrived here at quarter past nine. I've uh, been sat in the reception area reading a bloody load of the rings book for the last half hour. Um, I'm just waiting for a bay to come available so we can get everything offloaded. And once that's offloaded, I've got a second drop as well. The second drop is in Northampton, but it's on the other side. It's about six miles away. Um, and it's about a 20 minute drive, so it shouldn't be too bad. So if you get this lot offloaded pretty quickly, Go to there, offload, probably by 11 o'clock, give or take, and then on the way home. Now, it's taken me driving time-wise, just check in, just over three and a half hours to get here. So I'm looking about three and a half hours to get back, possibly four o'clock, give or take. I mean, let's be honest, they are so busy, we've had to be waiting around for quite a few hours. Yeah, they got all them bays and many more. They had me round, waiting round for three hours. Right then, off to the next one. So the next one is five and a half miles away and we're due to get there for 12 o'clock. Hopefully it's not a shift change, we'll be able to get in and out. So I am in the Northampton area. I'm just going down towards the ring road now for the A45E. That sun is so Right though, it's causing quite a lot of issues today for a lot of road users. It's just really low down the sun, so it just gets right into your eyes. It's even blinding me now when it's on the right hand side of it. But the weather is so weird at the moment. Because in the summertime it was just crap wet and windy weather. Now we're in November, it feels like a summer's day. I don't know what's going on there. Um, it's be the right hand side lane. Or middle lane anyway. And we're going straight across this roundabout. Going up towards the M1. Hopefully it'll be a case of going straight back to the yard after here. Oh man, an earlier finish today. Bloody bonfire night last night, wasn't it? So I tried to get asleep for about seven o'clock. I was up at three. Didn't get asleep in the end till probably nine o'clock. It's about, about six hours sleep. I don't know what fireworks to bought, but across the way, from where we live, it was like a bloody full on firework display. And they're not, definitely, definitely were not the type that you get over the counter because <laughs> the way they were going off and how loud they were it was genuinely like probably off the back of the wagon or somewhere with their firework display <laughs> not legit but good watching them though fair play like must have spent some money on them like I said though I don't know how they got them oh, it's 
a lot of diverted traffic up this way as well. Uh, four more miles to go. Just arrived on the estate. Bang on 12 o'clock. Um, just about a quarter of a mile from where I need to go. Well, I've been here quite a few times, actually. There's a few different places that I've been delivering to. So, if you're from uh, Northampton area, if you deliver this area, you probably recognise this estate. You've got the big yodel, there's um, a Wix, I think it is, down here as well. British pepper and spice. Yeah, there's lots of big places anyway down this bit. So that's down at the end on the uh, left hand side is where we were going and for these I've got eight pallets to take off and then straight back to Warrington they just love these places that you gotta wear a hard hat when there's literally I'm in a canopy and there's nothing over there once the bear's got shit on me I had to go through my brain health and safety eh all loaded, second job completed. There's no collection so far that I've been given anyway. I've got 140 miles to get back. It's one o'clock and I'm due to get back for four o'clock, so I've got three hours drive. I've got to take a 30 minute break as well on the way down, just so I can claim my driving time, and that's my second break done and over with. So yeah, a long journey ahead of us. Hopefully it won't be too bad. It just depends on traffic getting through Birmingham, but I might weigh it up up the M1 and go up towards the uh, Donington services and come off the A50 and 500. I think that might be a bit better than going around um, Birmingham area, what do you reckon? We've got another gate which is like entering and exiting. We've got another gate now, it's like an entrance to Jurassic Park. God, what do the actual thing? I'm going to do some of these security people. I'm going to drive through the barrier and just drive off after they've been unloaded. It's absolutely crazy, isn't it? I mean, it's probably to stop people breaking in, though, to be fair. But still, <laughs> there's no need. It looks like there used to be a security guard sitting in this little hut here, but it's vacant at the moment. Got a bit of a drop down there, didn't expect that one. Let's find our way back to the M1 then, shall we? Still on the M6 at the moment. Just coming up towards Coventry. And it's coming to a halt. Oh god. I believe it's shattered now. Today it's been a bit of an odd one, hasn't it? I've been sat around not doing a lot of work whatsoever today. A lot of waiting around and now stuck in traffic. So even on the way down, it's taken me, so I left at half past five, I arrived at half past nine, so it took me four hours to get down, and it's probably gonna be about the same. I've got four hours left of driving, so hopefully I can make it back. Um, that's four hours with the extended hour as well. Of, uh, I've had a bit of a later break and it's been a POA all day. Well, it's looking real heavy at the moment. I kind of wish I went up the M1 instead, <laughs> looking back on it now. I know it's a little bit late, but hey oh, it's one of them, isn't it? I don't really fancy having uh, too much of a late one today. Got a little bit of a headache as well, unfortunately. Do you? Oh yeah, I'm not too sure what's happened up above. I've not seen any matrix signs or anything saying accident or congestion, road clothes, etc. So it's all a bit of a um, surprise at the moment. What's going on? Unfortunately, with driving, this is what happens, doesn't it, from time to time. If you've got any questions as well, let me know down in the comments. If you're a new driver, or your long-term pass, or there's anything you're unsure about, HGV driving, etc., let me know down in the comments. I'll try to help as many people as I can. 
And if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe as always. I really do appreciate all the support, guys. I'm thanking you very much. It really, really does mean a lot. So thank you. Now I just need to let the traffic free up a little bit. So I've got 100 miles still, and it's currently half past two. Go on board to let you in. Looks like he's got to throw it down shortly as well. The cloud is looking very dark and dingy up there. Right in the mirror behind me, it's beautiful blue skies. This is warmed up a little bit though. It was a little bit chilly earlier. Is that just congestion maybe? It's just holding all this up. Possible. Time is now half past four, just got back to the depot. Um, unfortunately there's three trucks in front of me so I could be waiting around for probably about an hour or so. Um, traffic overall though was really good. A um, little bit of stop start going down towards uh, Birmingham and around the Warrington region as well. It always backs up on the M6 around there as well. Uh, so at the moment, I'm just gonna sit tight in the queue, wait for myself to get unloaded. Probably, like I say, about an hour or so to get unloaded for that. I'm um, gonna have a good early night tonight. That's what I'm looking forward to. Looking forward to my bed, get some good sleep. And I think I'm a little bit later tomorrow. I think it might be about eight o'clock or so, but I'll have to get that confirmed shortly, I know from the guys. So I'm going to leave the video there for now. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay safe, folks. Bye for now.